Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr CLEP. Another Friday rolls around. It's the 5th of August. We've got some new mods and we have got four updates today. The John Deere 5M series, the FarmCon 22 John Deere 5M series by Giant Software. The map Mazafshanyi by Puma145. The wheel loader Long Forks pack by JG Farms Modding and the additional decoration pack by Paisel have all had updates. In front of me we got a slightly unusual one. Um, oh, what was the map called? Anyway, this is the rally track pack by Zarez Holtz Velten. So if you want to set up a rally course, we've got blocks. Now these are individual, I place those individually if you place those close enough to each other, you can place blocks on top, so you can build a wall if you wanted to. These can move, so whilst they will provide a barrier, yeah, depends how hard you hit them, I guess. <laughs> We've got a signpost left, signpost right, and then we've got three ramp sizes here. So for doing jumps and various different craziness, I think it might be quite interesting to have a small river maybe and have one of these either side trying to jump and land it on the other side that would be an interesting thing I know it's not farming but I don't know it would be quite funny with all the various different vehicles we've got available now um, that can travel at speed I think it would be quite a laugh actually using some of these so you'll find these under build mode and decoration the pack is 0 0.48 megabytes download each one of these is two slots and then the slot cam will come down we go to decoration others and scroll across to there. So, blocks 50, I think they're all... F oh no, 50, 50, 50, 50, 100, 150 are your prices. Um, I think once placed, obviously the ramps and the blocks you can't move. I'll check the signs in just a moment. But like I said, with the blocks, providing you can get them close enough, lining them up as well. I mean, you can do them on a curve, I guess, as well, if you wanted to. That'll probably be about right. And the other one, we can, yeah, it's just, there you go. So you can build them up. So those, no, we can't pick those up. And I don't know, I mean, potentially, you know what, I'm going to try something in a second anyway. No, signs don't move either. So once placed, object too heavy, and obviously the ramps won't. Just bear with me a second, I'm curious about something. I was just wondering whether or not this would strap onto them. I don't think it will, but... No. Never know. It was worth a try. I'll try on the signs as well, just in case. So, yeah, I mean, unless you sort of push them with forks and stuff. Which you can do. So you can move them. They're not easy to move. So, realistically, where you place them is probably where you're going to want to have them. But anyway, that's that. The Rally Track Pack by Zarez Holtz -Veltzen, Velten. Next, we have got the Picnic Decoration Pack. Uh, this has been prepared for us by Omatana. 2.35 megabytes download. Slots on these are threes and twos. And this is, it talks about in the mod hub description, about Silver Run um, with obviously the forestry production, sawmill and stuff. So we've got octagonal bench setups or as i say standard picnic benches with parasols without parasols we've then got an ice cream um stall decorate uh, decorative but we've also got this the barbecue if you come up close to it it says grill watch they look like proper bratties as well that will crackle away for a little while then the bratwurst will disappear so if you want to simulate having a bit of a barbecue, you can. Under build mode, again, decoration, other, we go back that way. Uh, these were, yeah, threes and twos. So 100 each for the picnic table with parasol and the standard one without parasol. And then we've got the grill and the ice cream cart. But what it also comes with, if we come out of there, no, up from there, and we go to production and sell points. We've got a sell point. So the other ice cream cart we've got there is a selling station. And you can sell uh, milk, sugar and strawberries there for making ice creams. 
It's a bit he doesn't take chocolate, so that'd be quite cool for chocolate ice cream, wouldn't it? Because we can make chocolate. But anyway, regardless of that, um, yeah, milk, sugar, and strawberry. So we can put in there. And that costs you 200 for the sell point. When you place it, if you've got the uh, icons on, that's what it will look like. Very nice indeed. Picnic decoration pack by Omatana. Next, we've got this. Cowshed with Barn by Gracus and Philip. This is 16.86 16 megabytes download. This will hold 30 cows, 23 slots, and 65 grand under build mode and animals and then cows. We do have the barn opens drive through. Takes a little while for the doors to open. Nice bit of ivy down the side. So this is all drive through. There's no lighting inside here. You can put bales and stuff in there for feed and things if you wanted to. Um, but we all, what we've also got as well, which is interesting, let's open that one. This little bit here, when we come onto it, it says change roof. At the moment, it's a bit difficult to see. Um, it's going to build mode. We've got a red roof and the grey roof there. We can change the name of it. I don't often show that when I do sheds and is that. But if we click on it and we do uh, R3, got the option to rename. I don't often show that. Um, but if we go into here, we can change the roof. It says change roof. Swaps the roofs over. So you can have a grey roof to match up with the other one, if you want to. Interesting feature. Feed point is in here. That's quite low. So some trailers will struggle to get under there. It depends what size you're going to go with. Obviously tippers, you might be better off coming in this way with a side tipper. But that, of course, is your choice. Dialogue box is at this end. If we come to about there. Open animal dialogue box. Buying, selling, loading, or unloading. Come a little bit further forward and we can open the gate. There we go. Your bedding goes in here, so your straw bedding will go in that point there. Milk is retrieved from here. And then we've got our cows. Oh, there's none out here at the moment. They do come out here. They were wandering about earlier. Uh, and your slurry point is there. As with most most cow barns, I say most, not all. Um, if you do want to have manure on this one, let's scroll down and have a look. So over there, we've got productivity, milk, straw, slurry. If you want to get your manure, you need to place a manure heap close by. And then if you've put, got your bedding in there, you should get your manure from it. It's nicely detailed. Yeah. 65 grand. It's not bad for 30 cows, is it? I guess. Um, so that's it. That's the cow shed with barn by Gracus and Philip. Next, we've got this. This is a... This is a Swiss Army knife of gear, this is. Um, this is the Field Products Factory by Farmer Jeb. 5.12 megabytes download, 17 slots on console, and 100,000 to purchase. And this does so much stuff. It's amazing. The Lizard Gecko Tech Farm Solutions team is excited to introduce their latest in farm production technology. The GT16502 Mark II Field Products Factory. Uh, Inspired by the Nuero NL1622 silo, this thing will produce an array of things. Uh, capacities, I will say this now, water and forage, capacities 880,000 litres. All other materials is 1,650,000, so I've barely scratched the surface with what I put in here. It does say about two ventilators, the level of detail is very sharp, very good. Yeah come around the side here and click on it you'll see what I mean so we can make hay grass to hay direct ratio one to one which is brilliant we can do silage from potatoes again one to one silage from grass silage from chaff silage from sugar beet cut silage from sugar beet I like that that's a lot of options for making silage brilliant we can do manure with straw and water top mix ration with hay and silage again one to one that's, yeah, pretty much. We can do Telmix ration with forage. Now, I've always, I think, in in um, uh, mixed ration uh, machines for, your, you know, for making your mixed ration, if you don't get the ratios right, you end up with forage. But you can buy forage from a lot of the buy anything silos. So with that one, you can do forage, chaff and water, and you'll get Telmix ration. So it depends which way you, you want to do that. I mean, that one would be the easiest, I guess. If you're already producing silage from here and you're producing hay from here, I guess it makes sense to do that one. But you can do that one as well. Uh, all of these say um, 
cycles per month 864 then we can do solid fertilizer from digestate now this halves it so whatever you put in but that's fine really that's still a very good ratio and you can do solid fertilizer from manure so once your animals start producing manure or again if you're producing manure by doing your straw and your water from here you can then produce solid fertilizer so it kind of does everything it's a brilliant brilliant bit of kit so let's click on all of those let's get them all running because it does say let's scroll down No, so I've already got some of these in. I put some hay, silage, and manure in to get some of the products going. But our total mix ration and our solid fertilizer, that's going up pretty quickly. I mean, to be fair, I've got a lot of things running at the moment. If you only had one running, it wouldn't be doing as much. But I like I like that potatoes and sugar beet cut and stuff. Now it says vents. Where are the vents? Because on the description. Hmm. What does it say? I'm sure I read it somewhere. The two ventilators are animated when the factory is actively processing materials. The speed will vary on one of on one of them depending on the time of day. Two ventilators. Oh, is it those? Oh, there you go. Look. That's cool. Nice little detail added in for the production. So yeah, that's that's amazing. I mean, look, at that. that is hammering away. Bearing in mind as well, I'm only on, I'm only on half speed. I do my videos my, for my mod reviews on 0 0.5. If you add that on times one or two or whatever you're running yours on, we've already got over 1.5 or 1600 litres of Tomix ration, solid fertiliser. Everything's absolutely hammering away. That's brilliant. I know we've got a few different ones around, but for doing fertiliser as well, hmm, that's one of the better ones I've seen, ratio-wise. I like that a lot. That's the Field Products Factory by Farmer Jeb. That gives a bit, big Friday tick, that one. Awesome. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. And then you can enjoy your weekend. Whatever it is you're going to be doing. We have this, the Class Rollant 455RC. This is by Arek, and it's 9.9 .9 megabytes download, 8 slots on console. Now, this only does 125 centimetre bales. There's no option to change bale size. So what I have done, I've got a grass. I've got, <laughs> that went a bit wrong. But anyway, I've got some straw, and I've got some hay. We'll do one of each bale, um, just to see what the capacities are. They might all be the same. They might be slightly different, but it's worth having a look. It's when you get balers that have got loads of different size options and then you've got all the various different it takes quite a long time especially if you've got multiple balers so at least with this one i can do this fairly quickly so this you'll find under balers i think i was already there there we go 55 grand not too expensive 90 horsepower required we'll run at 10 miles per hour we've got the option of trelleborg with standard and standard twos BKTs with standard and standard two. We've got Michelin with just that tyre option. Very time with that one. Back to Trelleborg. We can have warning triangle on the back. No. There. Location two. Location three. Or off again. Now this one here, rear Rolland covers. You can have full cover or a shortened cover. Now if you've got the warning triangle on there and then you put the partial cover on, it moves the warning triangle up to the side. So at that point you may want to turn it off because otherwise it covers up the, the name. So no, it's up to you, of course. And there's a license plate option too. So that's that. What we'll do is start up our engine. Unfold the baler, which will put the wheels from the back to the front. Turn it on. Lower the pickup. I have got it set to turn on, or turn, <laughs> turn on automatic drop. I've got that turned off. Because when it's full, I don't want it to start loading up again. So let's see if we can get a full bale. Should be about three and a half thousand litres. It's normally about that, isn't it? For a 125 centimetre bale. If I remember correctly, or is it going to be three thousand? No, no, three and a half. There we go, right. So, three and a half thousand litres for our grass bale. So, I'll unload that manually. God, it seems tiny, doesn't it? And close it. Then we'll go into a straw bale. I'm not going to do very much of this, in all honesty, for the straw.
I'm going to get a different angle here. <laughs> There we go, 5,000 litre barrel for the straw. Now, hey. Oh, blimey. Oh, we should be alright. I just went over a bit of grass and I hadn't raised the pickup. Let's see if we get away with this. Yeah, there we go, it switched over, that's alright. And our hay is 4,500. There we go. Runs well, nice animation, smooth working and operation of it. And there's your bales. Nice. And that's it for the mods for me for this week. Unless, of course, they drop at the weekend, which sometimes they do. But if they don't, have a lovely weekend. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.